Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. So today is the start of, I think, three days free looks with this palette here by Morphe. I've had this a hot minute. I think I did in November last year, but the year before. So it's the Vintage Rose, it's the 9V1. And I've got the Party Pinks as well, so that'll be coming up soon. So... I think I'm going to go in with this shade first. No, actually. I think I want to concentrate on this middle row and then maybe that for inner corners. And then that shade there will be with this bottom row, I think. So let's get this plastic piece of paper, which is like a chocolate fire guard. It's not really any use, is it? Um, but, I mean, they've got, like, in this day and age, I'm going on a rant now about eyeshadows and about names. They could put it across here. Um, but yeah, let's not let's not focus too much on that. Okay, so we're gonna go in with Perth in Pink, which is this beautiful pink shade. I really want to do a pink eye look today, showing a bit more cleavage than I'd like to be showing. Okay, so again, I'm going in with that shade there. Let's zoom in a bit. That's pretty pigmented. I'm not really a pink type of girl but I want to test this out and see if it has a place in my collection or if it's going to get decluttered. I don't need to be keeping it. I've got quite a lot of these types of tones. Like, at the time, I wanted to try every formula of every brand, but, I mean, you can't... <coughs> you can't do that going forward because... Well, I can't because I don't have the storage for one and it gets expensive. So, why choose all these different shades that look alike? I've got so many Colourpop ones that are the same. I've got, um, I've got about, I've got about four different Colourpop palettes that offer these type of shades. So I could quite easily pass it on to my mum is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm going to go in now with, that's classic, this cream ivory shade here, just for the brow bone. Nothing to report on this, it's just what it's saying, a classic ivory shade. Um, and then this one here for the outer V, that one's called, that one's called Rose Bold. Let's get, where's that refer brush? I really like the refer brush for the outer V. Oh, well, it's not, I don't know. It'll be around somewhere. Actually, no, let's use this new look one. So just this pencil side. And then I'll probably blend it out with that side. Who is this? So that looks good. We just need to blend it out a little bit. Um, so let me use the other side of the brush. It's a good brush this from New Look. I'm really, really not happy that they don't do makeup in my local New Look anymore. In a few weeks I'm going to be going to Manchester though, which I might vlog. Me and my mum are going to Manchester for the day. So I'll see what they've got in the New Look there because it's much bigger. Right, that's good. Now I need some glitter glue. So we're going to go in with Sparkle Slay by W7. I'm 
And then, <clears throat> when it's gone a bit tacky, I'm going to be going in, if I can get it the right way up, that is, with Retro Woe. I did a swatch of this. It is quite powdery, but it is a beautiful shade. No, it wasn't that one that was powdery. It's this highlighter shade here that was powdery. So, I mean, it is a little bit powdery. So that's the shade there. Let's just tap it on. Ooh, it's pretty. So, I first saw someone do a look with this palette. Andy does stuff. And I was like, whoa, you've created such a pretty look. I'm going to have to use mine soon. And that was months ago. That shade is freaking stunning. I don't think I'll be getting rid of this palette. On first impressions. Look at that, guys. Sorry about the kids outside. Why am I apologising about kids outside? They're not my kids. I can't do anything about it. Freaking pretty. I am digging this look so far. Right, so now let's go in with my highlighter brush. Well, not highlighter, inner corner. What I use for the inner corner. Um, so this is the JH42 by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And then, what shade is that? So now we're going to go in with Flourish, this one here. I was so mad yesterday. So I've got a couple of hauls. I've got a Made by Mitchell mystery bag. And I've got a Primark haul that I did. Nothing to elaborate. But I did two separate videos and I was all the way zoomed in. So after this video... I'm going to have to make sure I'm all the way zoomed out because you like in haul videos you certainly don't want to see my face that close oh that looks pretty it is quite chunky like I said the inner corner highlight shade but it is pretty Right, so on first impressions, I really, really like it. Just on this like middle row and this highlighter. So we've used four shades. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about the darker shades down here because I don't really go in for a, a dark shade like that. Saying that though, I used something similar when I did my Pat McGrath Labs looks because it has a shade very similar to that, I think. And I really, really enjoyed the grunginess of the look. So anyway, you'll see that before this video. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm liking it so far. I think I'm going to go in with that one again. What was that one called? Rose Bold. Sneed, this will do. So I'm going in with this little BH Cosmetics liner brush. So yeah, um, I deleted all the footage from the two videos I filmed where I was really close up. So I'm going to have to do it after this video. Which is, I did think about not doing it at all because the products I'm going to use in the live, and you'll see it way before if you if you watch my lives that is you'll see it way before the rest of you will i'm definitely going to be using the primark products i don't know about the made by mitchell products um so i'm really really liking that look guys and i said in yesterday's video the pat mcgrath labs one i think that's coming to its end of its life and i think i'm just going to declutter it um, because it just makes my eyelashes really, really flaky. So I'm going in with the Patrick Tarr Major Volume. And this will be ready to get decluttered soon as well. Oh, there's a shit ton of fur on my lid. I'll sort that out at the end. I want to use like a mauve toned lipstick today. I've not done that in ages. And I'm feeling my pure ones. You know, my Barbie pure lip hair. Right, that'll do. Let me try and find it. Right, I can't find it. I can only find the broken one. And I, because when I ordered it, um, the pure and Barbie one became kind of like broken. And I got another one in its place. I don't know where that is, so I need to 
try and figure out where it is because it's my favourite lipstick but I'm going to go and weave it Becca's Orchid that's really really pretty as well and I think it will look nice it's a bit darker than I wanted to go right guys so I'm just going to go in with a bit more of that shade there again just pressing it on rather than swiping I feel like swiping if you're a mature woman or even if you're not kind of like exacerbates the, the um, wrinkles in your eyes swiping just doesn't do that that's what I've noticed anyway and then I'm gonna go in with this shade here just with my little finger yeah it's really really powdery but it looks good I mean that shade there <clears throat> is like a mauve tone shade but then it's got like gold reflex in it it's probably the best shimmer in the palette what's this brown one like mm. yeah it's that one there I mean I don't think I'm going to create the best look tomorrow um, but I'll probably just use those four shades there and try and come up with a look and then I guess we're only doing two looks then with the palette because there's only two shimmers in it and yeah then we can move on to the next palette so guys i will see you tomorrow for look two thank you for joining me so guys thank you for joining me and i'll see you tomorrow for look two hey guys so it's not gone as planned these videos really aren't going as planned lately just had a really hectic day but i have got makeup on and i've only just put makeup on and it's really really late in the evening as per usual for me so i have got the external light on i know you guys don't like it but i just thought i would jump on quickly and tell you what i'm wearing so we did the second look with the morphe 9v vintage rose palette i am shook I'm shook guys because I thought I would be decluttering it for sure and it is and it is such a beautiful beautiful palette these let's get rid of that these rosy tones here are definitely my favorite by far in the middle row um but the look that I created today I thought I would hate with these like kind of darker shades down here well, I'll tell you what shades I've used first okay so first I went in with blossom that um I guess you'd call it a matte taupey shade um, and then on the bottom row I went in with no it's not that one on the bottom row then I went in with petal play which is this one here this is more rosy toned in the crease so that one was kind of in the transition that one was in the crease and then on the outer V and through the lash line I went in with forget me not and then this one is called that I used all of the lid legend has it so then I went in with legend has it and then I went in with this one in the inner corner um, and that one is called so that one is called flourish so I'd say out of all the shimmers in the palette there's only three I'd say this one is definitely the most chunkiest but you can get away with it because it's just for in a corner really I would have liked at least one more shimmer so maybe four shimmers to five mattes that would have been my ideal palette I think I mean you are getting this sequin shade here um, but the glitters don't show up on the eyes it's a real it's a real real pretty palette guys and I'm glad I've got it so I have also got the Morphe I think it's 9p party pinks so I'll be trying that I think in the next shot my stash yeah really really love this um, didn't think I'd be keeping it but there you go and then on the lips and then on the lips I've got this wet and wild cat suit in the shade Rebel Rose. Um, it's a really, really pretty matte. Does it go with this look? Probably not. It would probably have gone better with the more rosier tones in that palette, but I wanted to wear it. And I don't think it looks terrible. Let me know if you do. So yeah, let me know if you do in the comments. I promise I won't be offended. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. 
please like the video as it really does help my small channel grow and I massively appreciate that as well. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, it's completely free and you'll get more content like this. So if you like makeup content, commentary content, things like that. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this four times a week, um, so I'm sure that you'll find something on the channel that you like. Please share and comment and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Big. Big.